Hi, my name's Dave, AI7R. Uh, let me tell you a little story before I start showing you the, the uh, actual keyer. Um, I got onto Remote TX uh, as a remote um, uh, access because uh, Marcus's software doesn't require ports and there's an awful lot of uh, networks that require ports. So he being a pro programmer and me being a programmer before I retired, we talked a lot. Um, and I helped them test some, a few things out. Um, in the process, I started thinking about, uh, he had a few little little things where you could control it with a knob so you could tune it, or you could have a push to, push to talk um, button. There, there was a lot of different things you could do with uh, Arduinos. I said, well, um, what, what about packaging all that together? Um, so it's one box that somebody could take that had all of those controls on it. It sounded like a pretty good idea. Then we uh, uh, we looked at uh, um, the uh, uh, Kier software that's real popular out there. K3NG, I think is what it is. Anyway, it uh, uh, it has all the Kier capabilities. So um, I put that uh, on an Arduino and then modified the pieces uh, necessary that so uh, we could tune the VFO and we could you do push to talk and, and do a lot of other things. Um, but there was also the capability with a certain kind of Arduino to act like a keyboard. So it kind of, um, after a year or so of development, um, uh, we came up with uh, um, this right here, which I'll go into detail on. But basically this, uh, it can let you control most of your um, activity on remote, uh, remote TX. Um, and uh, more important for CW operators, it lets you use your key to send um, instead of using the keyboard to type into a, a text box. And that I will demonstrate definitely. But uh, uh, if you take this with you on a trip along with a USB cable and, and your computer or your phone um, and a key, and you're all set and ready to go. So uh, um, anyway, these, are, these have been out for a long time. This is version two. There was a version that uh, I used a 3D printed case and it was okay, it works, um, but I wanted to make it nicer. So putting it in a metal box and uh, it's really kind of cool because you can see through it, which is neat. But um, it has uh, two knobs. It has uh, three buttons and an LED, which I'll show you what those do in a little bit. And on the back, there's the USB port um, and there's two outlets right here. Uh, one of them is for your key and then if you want to use this at home, you can actually plug your, your local radio into this for, uh, for the keyer uh, port, and uh, you can use it as a local keyer. So you can do it either portable or you can use it on your, on your station at home. So you don't have to have two keyers if you don't want. Um, so uh, uh, let's, uh, let's get into it and I'll show you how the thing works. Okay, first I'll go over the uh, the layout here of what's going on um, to make everything make sense. Okay, this right here is basically the remote station. I've got it right next to us so we can see what happens at the remote station when we do remote stuff. Okay, this is a 7300. Uh, I don't think there's any of you that doesn't recognize that. Um, this, is, <clears throat> this right here is my remote uh, device. The only thing that's important is right here. That's the Raspberry Pi. I actually have done more with it and I can control more things. And none of this is important, but this part is. And that's a Raspberry Pi. Normally you'd have it in a smaller case than this. And just the USB connection to the back of the 7300. Um, uh, through Remote TX, if you subscribe, he sends you some software, which um, uh, this, that connects to this directly um, so that uh, um, yeah, you just, it's, it just works. It's really great. It's, it's awesome. Okay. So basically you've got this, it's connected to an antenna, but I have the, I have the power to turn down to nothing. So if it's keying, it's not going out anywhere. Um, and, uh, uh, so keep in mind, this is a remote part of it right here. Okay. So here we have the, um, uh, the, the thing we would have with us, a computer, of course, um, the, uh, the, the keyer, uh, which is a, a remote, uh, uh, a CW keyboard, I like to call it, and, and a paddle. So um, basically, I'm connected here, 
as you can see the the frequency and all that is is what it is on the radio and and you know if i if i come up here and and uh you know adjust it um uh, let's see here oh yeah okay i can go up or down and that's changing it on the on the radio here as i as i press the press the keys suggesting that which is good okay now let's uh, uh let's have the keyer do the little keyer box do some of it i'm going to i'm going to um put my uh mouse in the um in the frequency range thing here and down here um this knob here is for the keyer uh keyer speed and um adjusting some commands this is the vfo so if i'm turning the vfo here okay you'll see that i'm turning that it's changing it here sometimes there's a little bit of uh, um, key bounce where uh, it mostly turns when you turn it but because of latency on the internet sometimes it, it'll it'll jiggle a little bit but it gets you where you want to go and you can see over here it's changing it in the radio and that's the, I could be uh, I could be ten thousand miles apart between these two, and it would do that just fine. Okay, so that's the tuning part. Um, we also have uh, two keys, two buttons here. Uh, there's one he one right here, and one here. There's an LED in the middle. I'll show you that in a second. But this one and this one are for changing um, the uh, uh, the granularity of the tuning. If you want to go down to 10 cycles or, you know, the 1KC tuning, you can do it right there, which is kind of cool. And the last, the, the button on the far end is push to talk. If I hit this, you'll notice it goes into the transmit mode. Okay, that's important if you, if you want to use phone um, uh, and you're using the microphone either built into the laptop or, or uh, phone or, or you put a USB uh, um, microphone on it to sound a little bit better you can do that and just to show you I'll do the the push to talk right there you can see it's it's pretty pretty quick so that's awesome now the uh, keyer part um, if you push this in notice the LED comes on at that point there's several commands you can send to reverse the paddles if you want um, to uh, to have it tell you what speed you're going. There's a, there's a few other things that it does. Um, uh, most of it's not really important. Um, once you get used to to uh, running it, you adjust your speed with, with, with when you're uh, playing with the paddle, and you get the speed you want, you're good. The one little trick is make sure that your speed here is probably a little bit slower than the speed that you're actually going to send at. That way. Um, uh, the computer always has a nice flow of characters to uh, to transmit. So, given all of that, um, let's uh, let's uh, try the keyer part out, the part that you're probably most interested in. Now, this keyer, when we plug it in, um, this is how it gets its power. I'm, I'll unplug it for a second here. Basically, it's off now, and uh, it gets all of its power from the USB cord, so you don't have to lug around a power supply or anything like that. And when I plug it in, it uh, it's very friendly. It says hi, and uh, it's ready to go. And that's all there is to it. Now all we have to do is go in here and um, put the cursor in the box where we would normally type. Okay, so now it's blinking in the typed area. And when I send characters now, Notice the little TX is blinking there. That's because it's actually sending. So let's go over here. Now just to show you that it really is sending, I'm gonna turn the volume up on this so you'll actually hear the code. Now it gets a little confusing because it's there's going to be a slight delay. So when I send it, it's gonna be sending it, but mm, delayed. And boy, is that a lot of fun to, uh, to try and send code um, with with it being repeated back to you only uh, a little bit later. Okay. And there we go. So I'm sending code here. 
It's going into this. It's it, 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 the, the computer thinks it's a keyboard, so it's typing it in here. And whatever's typed into here goes to the goes to the radio over the internet, and uh, or actually it goes to the the Raspberry Pi that turns around and and uh, sends the characters to the uh, uh, to the radio. So uh, uh, just and just to show you, it's really the same as the keyboard. If uh, if I hit that, it's uh, you know it's sending it. So basically. Um, that's it. Uh, that's all there is to it. Um, it's very simple. I made it as simple as possible. Uh, made it as indestructible as possible. And, um, and it's fairly small. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the other cool part is there's some people out there that they never really learned how to use a keyboard. So they hunt and peck and it takes them a long time. If you're a CW operator and you're sending an email or, or, uh, uh, anything with text in it, you know, it's just uh, typing, typing an email or, or, uh, um, I don't know, any, just anything that you would type, you, you can basically use this to type it. Because if you're sending it 30 words a minute, it's going to type it faster than you're hunting and pecking anyway. So basically you, ha you do have to be careful of that. If this is connected and you're in the, you're in the middle of uh, uh, an email typing it and you decide to start sending some characters with this or your cat does or something, those characters are going to show up on your email. Um, so it is a keyboard. Just think about it as, as, as a keyboard. So uh, uh, so there you have it. There's uh, there's not a lot to it, like I said. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's a nice, convenient little box. And um, uh, the uh, here, I've got another one here. If uh, uh, the manual, you just scan that, and you'll uh, uh, you'll have the the website for it, so you can see the manual and any new things that are going on. Um, I have this available as one seventy nine. Uh, this right here is an old version um, uh, that I used to sell. I still have some on the boards, so if anybody wants these, uh, they're seventy bucks and uh, they can put them in their own box and or do whatever they want to do with them. Their, the functionality is exactly the same. The same buttons and, and everything is there. Um, and it uses a USB-C for the connector on the, on the Arduino there. Um, there's also, I, I haven't, uh, I'll document it and put it in the manual, but there's a modification that I made. Someone wanted to be able to use headphones and I didn't put a headphone jack on it. But what I did do is this right here, the, the key jack for the external rig, like if you've got a local rig, uh, that only uses one line. So I made it this, so with the addition of a wire and a, and a resistor, we can make it this so you can plug a pair of headphones into here and at least out of one ear, you're gonna hear the, the side tone. Um, so uh, so we, we, we uh, came up with a way of using headphones if you, uh, if you need that. Um, and, uh, anyway, these have been out now for a few years and they're pretty proven. Uh, the new design, um, a lot of them have actually gone to Europe, um, to, uh, different hams there and they're having a ball with them. Oh, speaking of Europe, if you're in a, uh, a country that does not use a U.S. keyboard, you'll have to be computer t savvy enough to tell your computer that if you plug this in, it is a U.S. keyboard. If your uh, if your computer is in German, by the way, or, or in, for some reason, like maybe you live in Germany, um, uh, that all makes sense. Except if you plug this in, it doesn't have the same letters. The keyboard doesn't work the same. It's the same as if they plugged in a U.S. keyboard. It's not going to work right. Uh, Y's and Z's are reversed, and you know some of the weird stuff. So you need to be able to tell the computer this is a U.S. keyboard, and if you can do that, it'll work just fine. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, um, my email is, uh, the contact information is right here and, uh, uh, happy to, uh, answer questions and, and, uh, uh, get you going with it. And, um, uh, between the two, I think it's a, it's a really nifty setup. So have a good one. 73s and, uh, uh, DX to you if that's what you're into.